Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is going to be focused on the idea of why I personally think Street League and the Olympics are not doing everything that they could be doing for skateboarding and more so giving the right kind of idea as far as how skateboarding should really be looked at to a much broader audience than just skateboarders. Because one of the things that I think is ridiculous is they're trying to make skateboarding into a sport. And I mean, when it comes to playing skate and when you are competing, there are certain tricks that are, you know, harder than others. And, you know, for certain people, I know people that have uh, like hard flips on lock, but they can't do kick flips to save their life. I know certain people that can skate switch and when it comes to their regular stance, because they've been so out of it skating that stance, they can't do it very much anymore. But their switch game is on point. You know, I know people that are amazing at the basics, but that's all they got. You know, skateboarding is subjective to each person. Some people skate certain things better than others. That's just a given. But when it comes to watching Street League and watching or what's going to be the Olympics, I don't think that they're showing skateboarding in the best light. And that's what's really keeping skateboarding down in that aspect. And skateboarding itself doesn't need the Olympics. It doesn't need Street League. But when it comes to utilizing each other for the greater good, I think that, you know, things like Street League and the Olympics are not doing what they should be doing for skateboarding, and here's why. It's, it's unfortunate that people, when they, you know, see athletes in a confined area with rules, regulations, you know, time limits, and scores and all that, like, yeah, they want to support it. But those same people are not just only skating when those contests come around. There's a lot of those people that their livelihood is literally going out every single day and trying to stack clips, trying to put out videos, trying to get advertising in magazines, trying to get coverage for one thing or another, you know, putting out ads for their newest graphic or possibly a pro shoe coming out, a colorway for trucks, a new colorway for wheel, whatever the case is, they have to go out into the streets and actually do work. Skateboarding is not just confined to skate park life and, you know, contests. Skateboarding, you see it in the streets. That's where it's supposed to be. At least for me, I like watching people street, street skate. I don't care much for watching people skate in parks because skate parks are meant to be skated by everybody, which means the guy who knows exactly what he's doing to the person who's never stepped foot on a skateboard. So the skate parks are not going to be having anything there that's truly just like, holy shit, I can't, I shouldn't skate this. This is too big. This is too gnarly. This is too crazy, whatever. You know, you'll find, you can make obstacles like that, but there's nothing built like that with the intention of using it like that. Skateboarders though are creative. We'll find new ways to make something more, you know, deadly to us and to make it crazier. But the one thing I don't like is when it comes to, you know, in a way I can compare it to like, because my wife watches this shit all the time. She watches Team Mom. She watches Unexpected. She watches all those shows. And I watch at the end, it's like, you're giving, or these people are giving these people time of day to almost in a way glorify the life of living as, or having a baby in your teens, you know, because it's, a, you know, it's, it, it's been sparked up that they, you know, as soon as they become pregnant as a teenager, oh my god, I gotta call on TV because I want to be on, you know, the next blah, 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 blah. It, it's not even like, only in a certain shows they're saying, oh, well, if you, you know, to prevent yourself from having this happen to you, go to these places or call this line or visit this website or to protect yourself, go here. It's like, no, you should be doing that with every single episode and really showing the hardship, not just what you want people to see, but what people need to see. And that's the same thing with Street League and, and the Olympics. Show and make sure that people know that these are street skaters. I mean, how many video parts do you see nowadays, unless it's transition, do you see from people actually skating street style spots at a skate park versus going to a skate park? And I'm not counting DIYs. I'm counting specifically just 
people that would be skating a street obstacle in the skate park and putting that in their video. You don't see that. If you can see it at the park, you can find it in the streets. You can probably find it better. You just have to actually look. And so that's why I don't like and I don't really support watching those. I mean, I'll watch the, like, the X Games Real Street because that's what it is. Real Street. You know, and that's what it's supposed to be. You know, granted, contest skating is awesome, but do make sure to let your audience know, like, don't just support them because they're in a confined space with time limit, with scores, and all that crap. It's like, support them when they're on the streets because that's where they're practicing. Not, I mean, not just there, and they'll be at a skate park too, but, like, they have jobs. When, street con when the contest is over and street skating is left, that's what they're doing is street skating. And those same people that are supporting you, you know, in the stands... Are the you know the, they could be the same ones that are you know trying to kick you out because you're skating and trying to just do your job. Granted, yes, I understand vandalism and you're you know hurting property and all that. But when you skate like that, you understand the risks. That's still your job to go out and get coverage to let people know, hey, I still street skate. You know, especially with Instagram blowing up and kids making a name for themselves before even the companies get involved, you have to be able to stay relevant. You know, and make sure that people know what you're doing and all that. I mean, to, to an extent, I have feelings about that, like either, like, you know, good and bad. But, I mean, that's how it's become these days for skateboarding. And I think it's ridiculous that these contests, these big contests, are not showing that. They're not even telling people, like, hey, you know, if you like this contest, please make sure to go out and support, you know, your local scene. And even by doing that, by just not kicking them out, not don't call the cops. You know, if you see someone legitimately breaking a window and breaking into a building, yeah, absolutely. But I'm talking about if they're just skating at a school trying to stack clips and, you know, get footage and photos and stuff like that, leave them alone. Honestly, it's, it's don't just support them because there's rules now in play. Support them because that's what they do, regardless of where they do it. And that's... The big problem for me with any of that is, so you only care about the big name people and because they're in a confined confined space with rules, regulations, time limits, and all that crap. It's like, no, support them where they also need to be supported the other days of the year, the majority of the year, out in the streets. Just give them the chance to actually practice to impress you by leaving them alone and letting them do their job. It's, it's stupid to only, it, you're sub subjectively only caring about them when it's relevant to you, not when it's relevant to them to do their job to then entertain you. And that's just what I wanted to say. It's, it's, I think it's, again, stupid that there's no representation or any kind of message relayed at any of these contests like, hey, make sure that, you know, these are the same guys that you kick out on the weekends. So... You know, be respectful. Don't just, don't just cheer them on when they're here, or care about them when they're here. Care about them when you see them in, you know, day-to-day -day life. Care about them when you run into them in the streets, because they're just trying to do their job, just like you are every day. So that's just what I wanted to say, because I think it's stupid to, to pick and choose when you care about somebody. You know, but I just, I don't know. If you like the content and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video goes up. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave a comment down below on what you guys think. I'm really curious, though, what you guys actually do think, if you guys feel this way at all. Um, just, it's, it's, I don't know. Just leave your comment down below. I actually, I would love to read them, though. Please do. Um, and, you know, like the video, give it a share. It does a lot more than you guys think, and it helps me to grow the channel to be able to continue doing this kind of stuff on a more regular basis. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.